Warmer this year would have to be Savage Garden. Since bursting onto the scene 12 months ago, this Queensland duo have sold nearly 2 million albums around the world. They've received 13 nominations, a record for any artist in the awards history. It would mean um, recognition from peers, you know. I think it's, it's really hip to sort of say that awards don't mean much. They do to us. It's, it's a big deal for us. Other nominees... I was from a friend of mine today and on the message on the card it said, Eat me, Elton. <laughs> In excess were the last Aussies to make it to the top in 1987 with Need You Tonight. But Savage Garden say they won't be taking themselves more seriously. I think that sometimes we have taken ourselves a little too seriously. And I think we may loosen up a little bit more um, musically. I think we need to loosen up. The singer-songwriters revealed today their American management tried to have them cancel their upcoming Australian tour as the single climbed up the US charts. No, we've learned to sort of put our foot down and, yeah. and say where we want to go. I think also we wanted to do the Australian tour more than anything, so it didn't matter what was kind of happening, we wanted to come through and tour. And they will from the end of the month. After that, an international tour, then hopefully a new album. Home for Christmas, both performers have bought houses in Brisbane and Logan and haven't forgotten the years they survived on two-minute noodles. You know, I mean, you never know, it could end tomorrow, so we'll be playing big venues on this, on this tour and having fun. Maybe one day we'll be back in an RSL, who knows. Be madly deeply, the first Aussies to take top spots since In Excess a decade ago. But the boys haven't forgotten their local fans, they've knocked back a record company request for an immediate American tour to fulfil commitments here. We certainly come in on a, on a very high wave and we're very grateful for that. We're realistic, you know, we want a career here. We want to be able to deliver a zillion albums and some of them you'll love and some of them you won't, you know, and uh, uh, I'm sure that we'll hit rock bottom one day and we'll scramble up to the top again. Dean Felton. Six to the top spot, knocking out Elton John's tribute to Princess Diana, Candle in the Wind. It's still a bit of a shock, to be honest with you. The news has capped off a hectic year that saw Darren Hayes and Daniel Jones spend 300 of 365 nights in hotel rooms. Now all they want is some time at home. We're just craving stability, to be honest. The same urge led them to forego the chance to tour America to satisfy their Australian fans. 